This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be her friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a... I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when Kate called the other day. I had no idea what shit she was going through. I stopped you from being her friend. But you saved her. Like me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thanks, Aww. Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> I'm on it. I wonder what happens if you let Kate die. Like, do, does this whole section of the game just skip? Very interesting. Hello, Kate. Oh, she's smiling. Yay. Here's the Max. hug. Yeah. <gasps> Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you, oh. Kate. There are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there, too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. Oh, I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. It's amazing to just sit here quiet with Kate again. I don't think I'll ever know how much destiny I'm changing. That's true. But Whoever said we only have a single fate? Oh, time travel is such a mind fuck. Yeah, you're telling me. That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed, but not Nathan. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. <laughs> Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. Thank you, sisters. You really saved Kate. I don't think get well is quite apropos. Apropos. 
Interesting word there. Those are nice flowers. And from Taylor? Wow, props to her. What are they, tulips? If this gets Kate through the night, so be it. I feel like the window that I need to take a photo of is in here, but I guess it isn't. That is so good to know that Kate is drawing again. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? How do you Max, make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be a... Uh... Not nice. But I do believe in forgiveness and redemption. I might be naive, but... I feel her struggle. Me too. I could have taken a picture of her covered in paint, but I didn't, and we had a genuine moment. We all have our moments. Why do you think she acts so mean? She's insecure. If you're comfortable with yourself, you don't need to act superior. Victoria doesn't look like she has much to be insecure about. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No. I think it will take more than that, Max. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. Hmm. What do you think of uh, Warren? Oh, smart and silly. He's got such a good heart. And he's a cutie pie. You know he likes you. And I'm going to the drive-in with him, so <laughs> we'll see. With everything that's going on, it, a date seems weird. No, you deserve that. Kate Marsh, matchmaker. <laughs> I'm glad somebody is looking out for my love life. <laughs> Even angels need angels, Max. Aw. It's kind of sweet. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so that might be a start. You did? Oh, right on, Max. I love how fearless you are. So what is going on with him now? I assume he'll show up at the Vortex Club party tonight like nothing happened. And nobody can do anything to him after what he did. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. <laughs> Alright, well, I, I guess I'm done here then. Unless there's anything else I can talk to her about. Thanks again for visiting me, Max. Nope. Let's make like a tree and get the fuck out of here. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. Hmm. I have a feeling Kate's going to get in a lot of trouble for that conversation. She's going to find herself in the room or something. I don't know.